As a woman, you should not be laying down with a man that you can't even ask for some money. Don't just be adding to your body count. Pockets on feather, the kitty on desert. We don't do that here. If he's not adding to your life in any way, next caller. As a woman... You know, the first thing I'll say is that she's an attractive woman. She does have uh, quite a bit of makeup on, so I can't really tell what she looks like. But, you know, she looks okay. And she's dressed nice. But she is uh, extremely masculine. You know what I mean? This, this is the type of woman that is always going to want to be in control. She's going to want to dictate everything. She's going to want to tell you what to do. Basically, you're just going to be on her program, and that's going to be it. So, fellas, if you see a woman like this, you know, it might be cool for a little fun, hang out, as long as she's cool with that. But don't try to take a woman like this seriously because... Uh, you can tell that this woman is, is way stuck in her ways. I can't really tell how old she is. She might be in her 30s or something like that. Um, but you could just tell that that's a lot of work. That's a lot of drama. If it's got to be a lot of work and it's got to be difficult and you got to argue and you got to, you know, have a debate all the time and you got to see a girl on TikTok making videos like this. It's not even worth it. But I know a lot of guys will say, oh, she's attractive. I'm going to just try. Maybe she'll change. Nah, she's not going to change ever. She's always going to be like this because women, they, when they get older, it's harder for them to get out of their ways. You know what I mean? It's like the older they are, the more set in their ways they are, the more stubborn they are, the more it's her way or the highway type of thing. So... If you would have met her when she was younger, she probably didn't even have this app, this type of, you know, attitude. But yeah, I mean, just just be careful of women like this because there's so many of them out there, and I, it don't matter what race they are. It's just a lot of women out here like this. This is how they rolling. This is how they representing themselves. They are equating all of their worth to money. And if you buy into that and you fall for that, you just setting yourself up for a trap. Make sure that you got your options open, got your frame tight, so you're the one doing the picking. Because when you let women pick anything, you know they try, they pick everything, right? You take them to the mall, you say, like, you ever went to the mall with a woman? And you're saying, okay, I got to buy this for me, and I'm going to go to the mall with her and, and get it over with. You go to the mall as a man, you go in the store, you get what you need, and now you're sitting on the bench waiting. What do you mean by that? Because women, they'll go in the store and say, they might say, I'm going to go in there and buy me some shoes. They go in there and they see all the shoes. They see all the colors. They see all the styles. And they start saying, well, I like that one too. Well, I like that one too. So that mentality is still present in dating for them. It's hard for them to choose, especially in this day and age now, because they have so many options. They think that they're always going to have a better option to come around the corner. Somebody taller than you, better than you got more money than you, younger than you, older than you, whatever the case may be, this is their mentality. They have a lot of choices. So they're playing the field heavily. That's why a lot of them had this attitude of they think that they can make men qualify for them because in their mind and in reality tells them that they have a lot of options. So when you have a lot of options, think about that as a man. When you have a lot of options, you get to choose, you get to pick. We'll see the thing with women they always have options because they get a lot of attention. They're born with their worth, you know what I'm saying, because of their beauty and all of that type of thing. So they get a lot of benefits and privileges that men don't get right from the gate. You add in social media and all this stuff that's going on now, and they're just out of control. They think they're in control of themselves, but they're really not because real women of character don't act like this at all. They're rare, they're the minority, but they don't act like this. Buy your time and, and make sure that you find that type of woman, not this one. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.